Semiconductors are materials with electrical conductivity between conductors and insulators. They form the foundation of modern electronics, particularly in the creation of transistors. Transistors consist of three layers of semiconductor material, the emitter, base, and collector. These layers can be arranged in two primary configurations, NPN or PNP. The difference between NPN and PNP transistors is whether the collector current flows into or out of the transistor. Beyond bipolar transistors, advanced types, such as field effect transistors and insulated gate bipolar transistors, offer specialized functionalities and enhanced performance in various applications. An NPN transistor consists of a PN junction between the base and emitter. The operation of the transistor is based on the control of current flow between the collector and emitter by the base. When a forward voltage is applied between the base and emitter, a depletion region forms at the junction. This depletion region allows a small number of electrons to flow from the emitter into the base. These electrons combine with holes in the base, creating a small base current. However, due to the thin nature of the base, many of the electrons that enter the base from the emitter diffuse across to the collector. The collector-emitter voltage creates an electric field that accelerates these electrons to the collector, generating a much larger collector current. This amplification of current is a fundamental property of transistors. As their name implies, transistors serve as transducers, transforming electrical signals from one form to another. They can function as both switches, controlling the flow of current and amplifiers, increasing the strength of electrical signals. While both NPN and PNP transistors have similar operating principles, they have different characteristics that make them suitable for specific applications. NPN transistors are often used in high-speed applications and digital circuits where positive control signals are used. Conversely, PNP transistors are used for high-side switching, sourcing current and applications requiring negative control signals relative to the emitter. Preparation Label the three leads of the transistor as 1, 2, and 3, and set the multimeter to diode mode. Step 1. Connect the red probe to lead 1 and the black probe to lead 2. If there is no reading, then move on to the next step. Step 2. Keep the red probe on lead 1 and move the black probe to lead 3. If there is a reading on the multimeter, this suggests that lead 1 could be the base of the transistor. Step 3. Connect the red probe to lead 2 and the black probe to lead 3. If there is another reading on the multimeter, it suggests that lead 2 might also be a possible base. However, when reversing the probes, no reading is obtained. So based on these observations, we can estimate that the red probe only gives a reading when it touches leads 1 or 2, which means that those two leads are positive relative to the third lead. So in the above test, we can refer that the transistor may be the PNP transistor.